so I'm coming to you excited to share this video with you. This is the new Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. It retails for $36 and you can find it at Ulta on 28th, which is tomorrow. It does, um, it'll be on for sale tomorrow. If you are an Ulta Platinum member like me, you did get first access to it. You were able to order it early. I was able to order it last week. And so, um, that's why I have it in my hands now before the actual release. So, it does come out tomorrow. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about just my first impression. So, the first, this is my first Too Faced palette in this format. It comes like this with the nine shades, like the three big shades and the um, six small shades. They have a lot of palettes. Too Faced has a lot of palettes like that. The natural mattes. The, they're beautiful. This is my first one in this format. Um, anyway, the reason why I purchased it because the semi-sweet chocolate bar. Apparently, I didn't know that everyone loved the shade peanut butter. So, this is the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. You know, they're chocolate themed palettes. And this shade here called peanut butter. I mentioned it in favorites. You know, every I didn't know everyone loved it, but apparently everyone loves it. I was talking to my sister. It's so funny. We were talking probably about a month or so ago um, about the Too Faced palette. And she was just like, I love peanut butter. I'm looking for, looking for a dupe for that shade. I love it. And we were just talking about peanut butter. Apparently, everyone loved peanut butter. Because probably like three days after that, I saw the announcement or the post for the peanut butter and jelly palette. It was like, we answered. You guys love the shade peanut butter. Here we go. We're giving you more. And I was like, well, apparently, I called my sister like, everyone loves peanut butter so anyway retails for $36 uh when I opened the Ulta box you could smell the peanut butter I will I want to be clear those of you with peanut allergies it says don't worry this product does not contain any actual peanuts and they did specify on their website it will not it should not will not trigger peanut allergies just so you guys know I just wanted to make that clear and I thought that was someone has a race car outside and I thought that was awesome for Too Faced to do that. So we're going to go ahead and get into the palette. The packaging is beautiful. You have this raised piece of bread here. If you, um, oh my god. So if you guys saw my Instagram, follow my Instagram, you know you're waiting your whole life to use something, whether it's a bomb comeback or the best caption on a picture, like, yeah. So my Instagram, I did a little video slideshow and I had It's Peanut Butter Jelly Time playing. Like, when else are you going to use that? So, this is the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. It's really beautiful. I love the format. Packaging is great. It's this nice little 10. Um, I am wearing the palette today. I'm going to get into the swatches and then we'll do a little mini first impressions what I've what I've uh, come up with with this palette. So here are the swatches on my hand. Um, they are the way they are set up in the palette. Top to bottom left to right. So that's what we have. The I'll show you the palette, the top row, and then I'll show you the swatches. Um, you have spread what the heck? Oh, okay. There's three sections. Let me let me explain the palette now because I just realized that. You have the soft and sweet, rich and creamy, and PB and J. I don't know what that means. Soft and creamy, rich and sweet, PB and J. You see that right on the side there? Um, and then the names of the shadows. Don't ask me what that is. But anyway, left to right. You have sp spread the love, peanut butter, peanut butter cup. Then you have bananas, peanut brittle, jamming, and then bottom row is extra creamy, jelly, and nuts about you. So, the formula for these shadows are perfect Too Faced quality. They're rich, they're creamy, they're buttery, you can blend them very, very well. They're, they're beautiful for that case. But, um, I'm wearing them today. The only shade that didn't come from the palette is my inner core, and I put a little bit of, um, L'Oreal ice latte. I could have used bananas. Don't ask me why I didn't. I don't know. But anyway, I'll get in so you can see my look. Um, I am wearing bananas right on the brow bone to highlight my eye. And I'm wearing peanut butter and nuts about you in the crease. And then I have peanut brittle all over my lid. It's a really orangey look. And I have jelly uh, underneath the lower lash line, the purple there. So that's what I have on. I wanted to film it, but we were in a rush to go, and I was like, let me put it on, and I'll just do this video. All right. Talking about the shades, again, they're buildable. The quality of them is there. Too Faced has it. The matte shade is beautiful. Um, the matte shade, where am I? The large, the large matte shade and the smaller matte shade, same quality. They're beautiful. Um, I do have some critiques to it and I'll just go ahead and let you guys know. The peanut butter shade is too small. Like, I'm going to tell you this now. If you guys created this palette, first off, this peanut butter is bigger. But if people love this peanut butter so much 
And they're, because they're hitting pan on it. Like, everyone I know, I haven't hit pan. Y'all know I don't hit pan. But hitting pan on it. We love this shade. Hitting pan, that's the only shade. You, why would you make peanut butter in the peanut butter and jelly palette a small shade? Like, I get it, but then I don't get it. I know I don't get it. I think um, this is a little bit matte. The spread, the no, the extra creamy is matte. You should have made one of the lighter shades, and I know this is just classic Too Faced setup. One of the lighter shades, one of the smaller ones, and took the peanut butter and gave us a big pan of it, because that's the reason why we're buying this palette, and we love it, and we're sharing it. And you guys, you know, made it like we answered you, you love peanut butter. So that's a, a critique that I have. I feel like the peanut butter shade should have been bigger. Now, maybe they'll come out with singles. I would wish Too Faced came out with singles. And I would like a single of peanut butter and this Nuts About You. This beautiful orange down here. I mean, it is gorgeous. Um, yeah, I don't understand that. I also will say this. By these shades being pretty soft, they came off really well on my hand. No primer. Um, they do kick up a bit of fallout. Like, a lot of fallout, actually. Uh, not fallout. Like, the dust when you tap it in the pan. Um, it's not something that bothers me because I'm heavy handed anyway and I usually use large fluffy brushes so I know that adds to it. But just in case you wanted to know, I'll let you know that this palette will get dirty and dusty pretty quickly with these shades. Um, I actually love them all. I love the color combination here. I love the theme of it. The peanut butter and jelly. You have two purples in here and then you have some orangey base shades. Now the shade jelly. I will tell you this. It doesn't pack like a huge um bold bright purple that a lot of people are expecting with jelly first off jelly is deeper than this real jelly anyway um but it doesn't pack that deep i love it on my lower lash line it's purple it shows up it's not unpigmented but it is soft enough to wear all the time as an accent shade underneath your lower lash line on your lip it is be it's like the perfect tone but i just wanted to let you guys know if you're looking for a super packed you know, bold, you know what I'm saying, like, it's soft, it's pigmented, but it's a, it's like a satin finish, and it's soft, it's, it's, it's gorgeous, though, I can't explain it, but I just want you guys to know, Peanut Brittle is beautiful, with this metallic -y. it's in the, right in the middle there, orange, coppery, the orange tones, the warm tones, really, really, they work well together, I will say that, um, the palette comes with a mirror, because it's, that's what we need in life, of course, and, cute and it comes with a little guide where you can um you know see little looks and of course it says it's peanut butter jelly time so i'm not the only one who thought that was clever right on the card there that's what it says not the only one that thought it was clever um do you, okay who needs this palette and be honest with you guys you know i'll give it to you real does everyone need it of course no one we don't need any of this but if you are a fan of peanut butter, if you are just a fan of that peanut butter shade, then you're probably going to get it because you're obsessed with it. And it is, it is, what am I trying to say? The perfect combination. Like, you love that shade peanut butter. And let's say the Simmons Sweet Chocolate Bar palette wasn't made around that shade peanut butter. Granted, all those shades work together, but this palette was specifically made to work with peanut butter and jelly and work with it. So if you love that shade and you just want to do the most you can with peanut butter and you love it, yeah. This, this palette compliments and it works. Definitely pick it up. If But if you only want the shade peanut butter, you're going to hit pan on it super fast. If you hit pan on the larger one in the chocolate bar palette. I just want you guys to know that if you only want it for the shade peanut butter, I don't think you should buy a $36 palette just for that one shade when it's smaller than the one you already used up. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Um, nuts about you. If you love these warm oranges like my eye here, like Morphe 35O type of vibe. I'm liking it. Um, I really am. All of these Us Women of Color, these sh shades work. Even this extra creamy, I can see that going down as like a base for brighter shades. All of these work for us. Nothing's too ashy, too light for me, and I do enjoy that. Um, again, I got to keep playing with it, but I did a look. The quality is there. It's just if you're buying this just for that one shade of peanut butter, just know it's a small pan, and it's a smaller pan than what's in the shade you fell in love with, the original one. I wanted to make that clear because a lot of us are getting it. We love peanut butter. And like looking on Instagram, people love that shade peanut butter and they're like rushing to get this palette. And I love peanut butter too, but I know I'm going to, um, I don't hit pan, but I'm just saying, I know. that. So that's it. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns about any other products mentioned in this video, be sure to leave them down below. Um, yeah, this palette drops tomorrow. February 28th um, at Ulta. I think it's an Ulta exclusive. It may be on the web on Two Faces website. Check it out. But um, until next time, I love you guys. Bye.